This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Now remember to look in the description down below for links to the other video associated with this update. It's called The Gamer's Paradise and in this particular video I built a new house for my sim. I tore down the restaurant that was here uh, and replaced it with this house. It's very modern and I turned it into my gamer's paradise. Okay. Now there are a ton of packs that are going to come through um, in this gamer's paradise update and what I chose to do was put those items in into this house. I've moved all my sims in here and they're supposed to have a lot of fun while they're here during this gaming paradise period. Okay. Now this back part of the house has a lot of activity going on and it's got other sections to it on the side here. You can see there's a nice zen space for my sims to sit down, enjoy the zen feel of that waterfall. And I really love the shape of the cells, I have to say. Really love the way it came together. And there will be floor plans for you right at the end so you can replicate it. It is very easy, okay? It just is. And I'm not really comfortable doing live build in The Sims Mobile. I can, but I wouldn't want to. I love this house so much. I've just demolished the restaurant, put this together, thought out where I want things to go. Uh, and so if I decide to, on a different device where I have my game, demolish and build, um, the other device would just update and this plot would be gone as well. You know, both devices coordinate the same actions, but with the Sims free play, you can save your game to the cloud and that's what makes it easy for me. Then I'll demolish the plot, do what I want, record it for you and then get my house back. But I can't do that with the Sims mobile. That's why I steer away from live building. I can, but I just stare away from it because it's time consuming. I wish I could have the game different on different devices and then save whichever um, game save that I want. Anyway, you've seen the exterior to this lovely gamer's paradise. This is the view at nighttime and you'll notice that there's a hanging room area here creating the one by one room illusion. There are lights hanging down uh, and at the back here where Cookie is trying to make a pizza, you'll also see that I have a hanging light here too and it's really nice the way it looks. I just love it so much. We need the ability to have floating rooms in The Sims Free Play officially. We have it in The Sims Mobile, so why not? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go straight in and start looking at all the items that will be in the packs that you could expect to buy if you want them. This is the front to the house. And we'll start with these lights. They are part of the Bronze Black Friday pack. Uh, and in the pack, you get these beautiful lights. Let's go and have a look at the one on the inside of the house. It's long and thin wall light. These are the variety of colors. I was hoping for more and I'm really just comfortable with the original color there. The next thing in the pack is this lovely, supremely stylish speaker. Okay, these are the variety of colors. There are actions that go with them. We'll see that shortly after we've gone through everything in the bronze pack. The next thing in the bronze pack is the Calm Me Down Tea Brewer. There are no actions with this tea brewer, sadly. I've tried it out. Nothing. <laughs> it's just decorative. You could just view it. In addition, you get 200 sim cash and 3,000 simoleons in that bronze pack. The next pack is a silver Black Friday pack and we get the wooden standing lamp. Okay, it's a floor light. Here are the variety of colors. I've put it upstairs. Uh, there's another section here in my house for my sims to chill out in and then you get in that pack this fabulous movie time popcorn machine it is interactive so you'll see that after that we've seen everything else on the list these are the variety of colors the next thing in that pack is the beautiful sofa that you see here it's called the quietly quilted sofa okay it's just very detailed. Really love the way it looks at the back, the way it looks on the side, the front, the wooden panel, the colors are rich. I just, it's just nice. You know, sometimes I wish I could find this in real life. There's gonna be something off when I see it in a furniture store. It's just best in the Sims. <laughs> oh gosh, I have different colors up here too. <laughs> okay, now in that pack, you get this cozy fleeced outfit. It's basically something to stay comfortable at home 
while you play games. <laughs> I love all the colors, they're very pretty. I love the red one more, uh, but I might leave her in the yellow just because of the shoes. That being said, you get the comfy time slippers. So you must be a lazy couch potato in this gamer's paradise because it's all about the fun and the games and the eating and so on. The silver pack also includes 500 sim cash and 8,000 simoleons. The gold pack fetches you 1,800 sim cash and 20,000 simoleons including these prizes. You got the feature piece wall clock. It's in the bedroom upstairs. These are the variety of colors you can expect. They're very pretty, very uh, bold. You know, very hot colors isn't it I would have put it downstairs in the sitting room but it's gone in this bedroom and I think it's just fine the next thing in that pack is this television with a unit attached to the wall it's called the all-in-one entertainment unit television this is what it looks like at the back it looks like something that will go nicely in a teenage bedroom you've got books pull out drawers that change colors as you go along even the wood does change also so that's where it belongs, in that room. The next thing is this um, cinema stereo, I think it's called, let's just click on that, the home cinema stereo set. Uh, there are a variety of colors and actions that go with this. Don't forget, um, as soon as I finish going through them, we'll get the Sims to interact with them. As expected, there are a variety of colors and perhaps they should be alongside the huge cinema screen that you've seen in the house. We'll get to that in a minute. It's like the free prize for getting the bronze silver and gold packs okay you have to get all three packs before you get that large screen but the next thing in the gold pack is this very cute bin you recognize that from the sims 4 players are you there do you recognize this it's the trash can of the future and only the base changes color i'll leave it in green to match up with everything else and it stays in that corridor behind the stairs okay now we have these beautiful chairs in that gold pack as well. Very nice, it's just so cute. So again, a variety of colors, but notice that the wood at the back changes color as well. Okay, um, so it's bright now on this color here. Just look at that color, it's beautiful. The black is black through and through, white has a black wooden frame uh, and so on. So you can see the different changes. There is an outfit with that gold pack. It's called From Up High Dress. Oh gosh, I really like it. <laughs> I really like it. You know what I think? I think that The Sims should create a store for players to go and buy the fashion. <laughs> My idea, I said it first. You get the Friday Night Cinema screen for free when you have purchased the bronze pack, the silver pack, and the gold pack that's when you get the indoor home cinema screen television for free these are the variety of colors this gaming paradise house has two of these screens one downstairs another arrangement set up here as well i think it's very lovely uh, and then we have another pack called on the walls pack a number of items that go up on the wall that's very fresh and clean and just brightens up the interior of your home your sims home it's called the bundled up fox print wall art the frame changes color okay in that pack we have this beautiful piece here it looks like a, some sort of eco type <laughs> of wall hanging uh, a shelf with some cactus plants on the inside it's called the wooden wall planter I really like this one. Um, it inspired the interior wall option I went with in the house, I have to say. And these colorful, um, it's called Colors of Nature um, wall hangings are very beautiful. I stuck them in all these little corners around the house. And that's actually why I put those corners everywhere, just so I could stick these in. So I don't know if it's realistic for a home, but I did it. <laughs> and this is what it looks like up front. I thought I'd bring it out so you can see that when I change the color, it's the rim of it that sort of changes color, but the actual pattern on the inside uh, stays the same. Okay, so that's part of that on the wall pack. And one more thing, well, another thing in the pack is this beautiful with love embroidery wall decoration. It's very pretty. I would put this maybe in a child's room, maybe in the kitchen, but I just kept it upstairs in the hallway here leading up to the party section of this house. Okay. Another item 
in the on the wall pack is in the bedroom here and it's some fairy lights very pretty uh, it's called LED fairy lights and the different colors you know give a different ambience against the wall I think it's very pretty you also get 5,000 simoleons in that pack now the next thing for us to look at is the geek out collectibles pack uh, we're going to have a look at this very dangerously placed looking sharp display <laughs> I'm not sure why I want that up in the house but here are what the colors look like Mm -hmm. gosh they're some fun colors aren't they and then we have this one I'm gonna pull it out here so you can have a look this is what it looks like at the back very chunky very heavy it's the hero replicas display so maybe some awards that your gaming sim has a you know has won over the years <laughs> and these are the different color options I'm just going to let it pop back to where it belongs. Then we've got this. It's really fun to look at this one. It's the Robo Hero figurine. I like this one a lot. I wouldn't think it would just go in a kid's room. I would like that in my room. Well, not really. My son's room. Well, that's me saying it goes into a kid's room. So what am I saying? <laughs> I'm saying I like it. In all honesty, I like toys. It doesn't matter how old I'll get. I will always like toys. And I think people who say they don't are lying. Everyone likes toys. You just want to act grown up. Then we have the lots of boxes shelves. And they are shelves. Now that we're going through the colors, once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna head into uh, my inventory and pick out something that can go on. Cause not everything that goes on a tabletop will go on here. It has to be a small item. So you can see how many places you could place things if you wanted to. Okay, so it's an actual functional shelf. Et voila! One more thing I need to show you is this very, very beautiful um, peel away wall art. It's huge. I put it on the front of the build and it looked like a commercial place instead of a house so I stuck it in the hallway here it's I would put this in a more glamorous home of some sort now these are the actions for all the packs I'm going through everything that has actions so she's just admiring it so you could just view okay this is the quietly quilted chair and this is the other sofa she's searching for cushions all right and this supremely stylish speaker allows for her to dance and you can also dance with someone so you click on it and choose that option and two people will pop up here dancing the cinema screen lets you channel surf watch llama documentary watch tv it even lets you exercise as well so she stands in the same position and then flips to the side occasionally depending on what you go for like the workout uh, and there she is trying to practice some yoga okay <laughs> then with this clock you could just view it okay just view that <laughs> she's inside the wall <laughs> this too this figurine the robo figurine is quite nice and she can just view it the planter on the wall can be viewed same thing with the picture here as well viewed that's all you could do with those where are the rest of the items you can also view the lights okay and the TV as expected you could turn on and interact the same way um, watch TV and so on this you can view as well those colors of nature wall hangings um, you as I said before can't interact with this one but the popcorn maker you could pop some corn so she's poured in the kernels and there it goes Mmm, yum. You know what? I'm going to go off and make myself some popcorn. <laughs> it looks great, great. Okay, so that's what you can do with that. And she doesn't walk off with popcorn or anything. That's just what happens. Nothing else. Now let's interact with these beautiful lots of boxes shelves. She just looks at it. And then you can sit in that chair. All right and what else you can view the love embroidery the swords display this one you can dance to or dance with or listen so i'm gonna get her to dance with cookie her daughter 
Mm-hmm. Boogie boogie. Alright. So this is their fun space and you could view the hero replicas display that's stuck behind it. Okay. Now there is other items to interact with right here. You've got the bin. View the trash can of the future. So you just look at it. You can't take out trash and dump in a black bag or something. No. You just look at it. It's decorative. <laughs> I would like for us to be able to have some more interactive actions with some of these items, to be honest. Um, then what I'm going to do is get this one here to make a pizza and just quickly show you the house as quickly as I can. You've seen everything anyway, but with the walls up, you get a sense of how the layout is. There are lots of um, C-shaped rooms that I use to create the design. Uh, and this is how you walk into the house. There's no door there, but there's a door leading into the living room section here. Uh, a ton of windows from floor to ceiling, lots of light. And then you've got this section here where you sit down and maybe listen to music. So it's a private area in that corner there. We then have a couple of open doors leading into the kitchen and dining space. It's within this space that we have a door that leads to the staircase. Uh, and you can see that right there. I love that you can see the base of the stairs. So that's the kitchen. And then from the kitchen, you can work your way into this area here. There is some fools ball uh, activity space um, set out there and just a place to sit down in the corner right here as you look out to the pool. In my mind, I'm thinking that those doors can open up completely from wall to wall and reveal the pool, which is in the pool, but looks like one It's meant to be one. And then you've got the back part of the house for fun and games. Once you pop up through that corridor, you come up to that landing and you can see where that living room section is situated there. Um, you can see the corridor that leads to a staircase, the bedroom in the front part here, the bedroom at the back. Uh, yeah, everything is situated in a particular way because I had to create walls using pillars. You can note here in the bathroom for this bedroom that there are some pillars I use just to define the feature point in the different spaces. Okay, just giving you an idea of where things are because of course you might want to set things out that way or maybe you want to be inspired by what you see but yeah from down to up this is where that staircase leads up to and this is the party area of the house. This is the floor plan. So lots of C-shaped rooms uh, and that's where I placed all those uh, wall of nature, colors of nature, bits and bobs. And all you need to do now is just pause the video, take snapshots of the floor plan on the different floors, and then you'll be able to go off and create your own. If you do choose to recreate this in your town and upload it to any social media platform, that's great. But don't forget to use the hashtag Joyce Creative Finger when doing so. And I want to remind you to look in the description down below for the link to the other video associated with this update. It's the Gamers Paradise update video with all the details to the new treasure hunt quest and the wampals wish lists thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye